Today, beloved viewers, I bring to you a tale of two cancer patients. Yes, this is going to be an uplifting video. A feel-good video. A video where you say, those guys got cancer, yay! So in South Carolina, your breast cancer is covered under Medicaid. But recently, a patient was turned down. The reason is because he had a Y chromosome. He is a male. And the program doesn't cover males with breast cancer, only females with breast cancer. Now, first of all, why are they discriminating between different types of cancer? I have no fucking clue. But more importantly, why are they discriminating with the same type of cancer based on gender? It seems to me that if you're going to have a program that covers breast cancer, it should cover everyone with breast cancer, not just women with breast cancer. I mean, this is just common sense, right? I mean, isn't this against some sort of non-discrimination policy somewhere along the line? I mean, why are we allowed to have this double standard? It seems kind of unreasonable to me. So that's cancer patient number one. Cancer patient number two is a 51-year-old man from Queens named Edgar Galvis, who was a ground zero worker. He contracted a sinus infection and throat cancer, cleaning up the offices of Merrill Lynch. So Edgar Galvis sued Merrill Lynch, and I guess like a decade later, it finally got settled, and they decided to give him the measly and insufficient sum of $10,005. Okay, but that's not what he got. That's not what fucking Edgar Galvis got. No, no, no. He received a check in the mail for zero dollars and zero cents. Basically, this guy who cleaned up the wreckage at Ground Zero received in the mail a slap in the fucking face. His lawyers, his scumfuck evil attorneys over at the law firm of, hold on, let me check this. The law firm of Warby, Groner, Edelman, and Napolini Byrne. They took his entire settlement check and said, this is ours. I'm sure Edgar Galvis is glad that he sued Merrill Lynch so that his attorneys could make some money. Yeah, his 10 year long legal battle culminates in uh, a bunch of lawyers lining their pockets with a bunch of, of fucking money from Merrill Lynch. I'm sure that was exactly the result he was fucking going for. Okay, so there's a lot of fuck yous that go around in a situation like this. One fuck you needs to go to the state of South Carolina for their discriminatory policies. Another fuck you has to go to um, Merrill Lynch for giving this guy such a pitiful settlement check. Another fuck you has to go to the lawyers that fucked him. Because, yeah, I, mean, I don't even think I need to explain that. But the biggest fuck you, the biggest ten middle fingers, if I had them fuck you, goes to America for not having universal health care system. So a report in the Journal of the Royal Society of Medicine finds that NHS, that's England's health care system, is both more cost effective and more effective in general than the United States health care system. And yet, we still have shit like this happening here because we won't embrace that system. If these guys were covered under NHS, none of this shit would have happened. Both of their cancer treatments would have been covered. We wouldn't have to read stories like this. We wouldn't have to read stories like this until our blood boils. I guess we can chalk this up to just another battlefront on America's ongoing war against things that make any fucking sense. <laughs> Oh